Hi there, Lynn Allen here. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. Hope you're having a great week so far. All right, so on the last tip, I showed you how to take that SHX text that you got from a PDF file when you brought it into AutoCAD. And remember, it came in as polylines, and I showed you how to convert it to mText. Okay, and that's what we have here on the screen. If I zoom in, I have mText. I have all these individual lines of mText, and that's great, but what if I wanna change the paragraph width, or what if I wanna add in some more lines, like I need to add in a different number five, or I wanna add or subtract lines or whatever. It's all individual mText strings. So what I really want is this to be a paragraph mText, right? So I can go in and change the width of it, and I can add, remove lines, I can do all kinds of things. All right, so in order to do that, we're gonna to have to use our trusty express tool text to m text and it grew up inside of autocad 2018 it grew up and it became a real life autocad command that's great for you lt users because that means that you can use it as well it's not just an express tool and it also allows me to convert individual m text strings into one great big huge paragraph m text yay let me show you what i'm talking about all right you'll actually find and you see right here we want to take all of this right we want all of this to be one big paragraph text and you will see on the ribbon here right next to pdf import these were the two tools i showed you last time is combine text and you'll see right here it says on that nice little tip text to m text all right and it, you'll you'll also find that this tool still exists in the express tools tab on the ribbon as well all right let me click on that combine text okay select objects no problems i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to select all of these objects right here that's what i want right right get all of them once again don't put things in here that don't belong that it won't know what to do with all right now before i go any further though i want to go into settings i want to make sure we're all on the same page here let's take a look at the possible settings i could be dealing with all right so combine into a single m text object yeah, hello, that's kind of the whole point of this. Um, do I want to sort top to down? Yes, I do. Or you could actually select the individual order of the text. That's not what I want to do. I want it to go top to down. Do I want to word wrap the text? Absolutely. And in this situation, I'm going to force uniform line spacing. That is going to change this because it's going to uniform the entire paragraph. So it's not going to look exactly the same, but I could space it back out again later. So keep that in mind. This is going to smoosh up. That technical term, smush, it's gonna smush it, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say okay and hit an extra enter, I'm ready to go now after I have my settings set the way I want them to be. And you will see that now I am dealing with one great big huge paragraph of M text. If I click on it, I can change the width as we know and I can come in here and I can make modifications to it. I can. Go ahead and add in some lines. Maybe I want to put a different line for, a different line for. You can see I can continue to add in lines. I can subtract lines. I can make modifications, but I can treat it as a paragraph. And you'll see in here I was able to control that spacing, so I can put that spacing back in there if I want to. All right, so it was a few steps to get that SHX text into AutoCAD to get it back the way I wanted it to be into mText, into paragraph mText, but that's the trick. So give it a try. Text to mText is your friend. All right, so thank you so much for joining me. I will see you back here in two more weeks. Oh yeah, be cool.